<clears throat> now and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bee's YouTube channel. I'm the Skinny Bee Man. Uh, the last video I put out, I was trying something different on some homemade styrofoam boxes that I'm trying this winter. I told you guys I'd show you how to make them, and I'm going to attempt that today. It, it's a pretty, <laughs> pretty big project to try to video and get to, get things done. Hopefully. I'm smart enough to figure out how to mute the uh, video when the, when the sawing goes on. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. But a couple things before we get started. Uh, if you're not used to using uh, power tools, don't even attempt this project. And another thing on cutting star foam with the power tools. It cuts like butter, but it pinches really easy. And if it pinches, it'll break and you'll be able to put your hand right into the saw blade. So I want you to be extra, don't get, since it cuts so easy, don't force it, just be real careful not to not pinch it. The material we're using is either pink or blue high density two inch foam. Uh, the white low density foam will not work very well at all. The, the, uh, the bees will chew it up even if it's painted and the ants are real, real bad. This stuff is a little bit better on that. And all the dimensions I'm going to give you is for two inch styrofoam. If you change the dimension, the thickness of the styrofoam, you have to figure out your own dimension because it changes. Because we're It ain't like a regular box. We're, we're working off the inside dimensions so that the box sets flush inside and outside we don't care what it does hangs over or whatever because of the insulation it's going to hang over because the, you know record box is only three quarters but that's the main part of that now for the height on the bot on the styrofoam part of it the ends and the side will be eight inches, eight inches high. Well, that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to cut us some eight inch strips. Like I said before, you know, if you go to uh, uh, a job site, they throw this size scrap away, so you might be able to get this stuff off for nothing. This here, I go into a recycling center and picked up a whole bunch of sheets of it. For nothing. That's it. The blade depth. And like I say, this stuff pinches really, cuts like butter, but pinches easy. So we're going to whip off a few pieces. I got so much stuff in the way, I can't run it all the way through, so I'll have to turn it around. Ain't the best way, but. That's the only way I got. two end pieces and they are eight inches high like we talked by nine and a half inches uh, uh, wide Now 
And I would suggest that you um, put a stop on here, especially if you're making more than one, that, instead of measuring each one because you can't get them perfect each time and you will uh, end up with your boxes out of square. Okay, so we're going to make two ends. They were eight inches high by nine and a half inches wide. I got a stop over here I'm setting so I can cut another one. When I go making these, I'll cut a all 25 of them out at once, but I'm trying to get this video done. Uh, we've got our two fin boards out made. Like I say, this is all scrap material, it's not new. I'm going to trim a few ends to make it a better box. The sides are 8 by 20 and an eighth. These measurements are fairly critical. You got to, uh, this is what's going to determine your distance in your frame, fitting on the rest. Hmm. I thought I had adjusted it a little bit long, but I didn't. I had a little bit short. That's a little short. We'll make, we'll make uh, uh, inboards out of it.
that's all the styrofoam for the box. Let's see if I can get this adjusted down here on the floor. I'm going to show you. These probably go together different than what you think. Typically when you're putting a bullet box together, they go either go in uh, in like that or like this. This box is not that way. This is a staggered joint. See how this one's on the outside, this one's on the inside, and this one's like this, where you're staggered. And then when we put the wood on it, we'll stagger it the other way. It strengthens the box. Just double check it and make sure the inside of the box is right. It is. So that kind of gives you an idea what the box looks like. I'm going to pause the camera and get some... Uh, wood in here now to make the uh, top and bottom rail. Well, I guess we could go ahead and do the dado on the uh, end bars. Now, on the, the long way, the nine and a half inch way, we're going to cut a rabbit joint in there. It's from the top of the eight inches, it's down three quarters. And we're gonna come back in here an inch and an eighth. And what that does, that, I'll show you here in a little bit, that'll let a piece of wood glue and recess in there. And that'll be the bottom part of our, our frame, bottom part of our frame rest. So we want to be three quarters. quarters by inch and an eighth. We got plenty of scrap star foam down here so we'll cut a piece and see if everything's working out like it's supposed to. Perfect. Do so you want to make sure you're, you're cutting your groove? The longest way is where the groove goes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now we could set up a rabbit blade for all this, and I will when I do a bunch of them, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to turn it up. And Got our scrap piece here to test it on. <laughs> I messed that up. Went the three quarter the wrong way. Retake. Okay, we've got our end board here like this. Eight inches. This is the long way on. This is where we're going to put a rabbit for our frame rest. We want it to go down three quarters and back an inch and an eighth. So we've got the table saw set up here. We're down three quarters, back an inch and an eighth. back to lower our blade down to three quarters. If I was cutting a bunch of these out, I'd set a rabbit bla uh, blade up. A dado blade, I mean. But, I'm just doing the one. Let me see if I got a scrap piece here that I've been playing with. Make sure everything is kosher. And the eighth, the three quarters, that's what we want. up with a rabbit I don't have one this is an inch and a half board here but that'll be the inside of our bottom part of our frame rest right here and then our other board laps over that and that's where you got wood all the way around your frame okay that's got the end boards Actually, that's all the star foam. Star foam's done. I'm going to pause the camera and go get some wood and uh, for the top and bottoms, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Now, uh, the boards that go on the top and the bottom, the end boards, are both the same they're nine inches so i've got a nine inch two by six here they're nine by an inch and a half so we're just going to cut us four or five of these out
Now we're at three quarters by nine inches. We need uh, four of them. Okay, we got them. Now the top top boards on the side are twenty and five eighths. We got one here twenty and five eighths. So we got our top boards there, 20 and 5 eighths. And just for that, we're going to put a T on these for top, because the bottom are different. We got us a, got us a T on here for the top. Okay, the bottom boards, Are 19 and a half by inch and a half. So we're going to take this same board we got here and cut it down to 19, 19 and a half. goes long. Just let's go. We're going to put us a B on that for the bottom. The bottom doesn't get any rabbits, so we're good. On, we're good on that. They're, we're done with that. You, you guys realize that you can do this a lot faster than what I'm doing it because I'm trying to explain it and get measurements down. It really, don't take very long to put one together. Now, <clears throat> we want to come in here and take a 3 eighths deep, a 3 quarters, wrap it. And this is going to set on top. And what that does, that lets your box set on top and have a water break that's down lower so the water don't run in the crack on the uh, top. So, let's see here. We want to be three quarter by three eighths. So we got to get our blade back down to three eighths of an inch.
okay, before we set up to make that other cut, we, the end bars are a little different now because we got to allow for the sh frame rest on them. Let me see here. Okay, on this top end board, we only want to leave three eighths sticking up. So I'm going to measure three eighths. That side. Okay, we got that figured out now. Okay, I don't know where the battery went dead. So hopefully we was working on these top end bars. And what you end up with is a 3 8 lip there, 3 8 down. That'll go on your end bar for that and the sidebars are three quarter by three eighths. I'll have to reset the depth on the, on the saw blade to get this. Seven eighths. Okay, the sidebar ends up three quarter wide, three eighths deep. And you'll end up with this look at the end right here, this cross piece. I usually just take a saw blade and cut that, hand saw and cut that off after I get it glued together and chip this end off. You can leave it for the matter, it really ain't gonna hurt nothing. Might be a catch of little water there to run back in. But that's the whole idea is to keep keep your the water from going back in there. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off and we'll go up the house and see if we done everything right. Because I had this all drawn up at one time on a paper, lost the paper, and these are all new measurements and hopefully <laughs> I done it right. We'll find out here in just a short order. Okay, we've got all of our parts here. I put this together with uh, Loctite PL300 foam board glue. Pretty good stuff, relatively cheap, cost about $3.50 a tube. Really ain't a whole lot to put one of these together. This is just how I do it. We forgot to make our uh, frame rest, wood frame rest. I can put it in there after the fact. But I just put a liberal amount 
of this glue in here. Like so. And I found these 16 penny screw nails do a pretty good job holding everything together till I get it all nailed up. I don't push them all the way down because they're a pain in the butt to get out. If you do, I push them down about, I'll leave three eighths of an inch sticking up. Wipe that out of there since I ain't got the frame rest to put in it. Usually I put the frame rest in first. And you see here, this end one goes on the outside. So here, this one will go on the inside here. See, it's on the outside of this one, so it goes on the inside of this, of this one. Make sure you've got your frame rest all both set into the top. Like I say, I just put these nails in here to hold it until I get everything glued together. This stuff here holds really, really well. Probably need to let it set for at least 24 hours. I like to, after I get it all put together, leave it set for 48 hours. And then you can paint it. Painting's a must. The if you don't paint, the sun will deteriorate the star foam. I've had some painted out here all summer, and uh, they've done just fine. Now, as you can see, we staggered the joints, so when you end up, you're square. You know, I'm going to have to go down and make them frame rest because the frame rest has got to go in there before uh, 
before the top board goes on. See if these are long enough. No, they ain't. That's another thing on the cut list. That'll that'll be an inch and an eighth by nine and a half. I'll be right back. I gotta go make a couple of them. Okay, I'm back. And the main reason I built this this way is because anywhere I pry against or anywhere the frames set, I want it to be wood so I don't tear my boxes up. That's what I've always had against it, the regular styrofoam boxes. You go prying against them. And I think they'll tear up pretty easy. But that frame rest just sits in there like so. Pretty nonchalant. Let's flush the top. And by us putting all this glue in here, this is all waterproof. But Now, since we got this top going here, we'll just do the top. See if our measurements work out right. If everything works right, you should put all these boards flush to the outside. Mm -hmm. The end boards go flush to the outside. The side boards go flush to the inside. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, so we're going to glue the first one. We're going to do the side first. Kind of gets us lined up with everything. Okay, it goes flat. You got the three quarter to the inside. Goes flush to the inside flush to the outside. In fact, I'm going to put one staple in here and then put a little pressure on it to get this thing all tightened up. And I just use two inch two inch uh, coated staples to put in here. That's, when I bring that back, that makes it flush on this end. A little pressure. Basically, them staples is just on there to hold it till it dries. Then you ought to be able to just put this in here like this.
this goes flush flush to the outside with your lip in there there again I'm gonna put a little pr pressure and you notice the way I done that I staggered the wood joints and I gotta turn around here where, where I can see see here's the joint with the styrofoam now the joint with the styrofoam is going to be this way I, I staggered them so it make it strong forgot to tell you that put a little pressure make sure everything's where it needs to be There again, this board goes flush to the inside. Worked out pretty close. Okay, so that makes our frame, this is the actual dimensions. Of our box, this top lip. And if I've done it right, frame should fit in there just fine. course it's going to hit the bottom because we don't have the other board on the bottom perfect Now then we'll just turn the box over. 
These are our bottoms. There again, we're going across the joints. It makes it strong. Lay them out, make sure everything fits before we do it. Flush the inside. This whole bottom is flush to the inside. Looks like we're there. measure across the uh, corner to get your square or you can take a carpenter square and square it up good enough now me personally, after it dries, I take a saw, hand saw, and cut that down and chip this little bit off here, off the two corners, but it's not necessary. But the only things left to finish in this box, I go in, take a uh, latex conk, and conk the inside up, because so I want the paint good and, good and clean in there. I don't want any place for high beetles to get that the bees can't get. There, I got glue on the inside of that one. That, that'll take care of that. And I run a bead along the outside edges too. Make sure that it paints up good. You conk it, paint it, it's ready to go. It should be, the frame should fit in there now without touching on the bottom. It does, but it just gives you about a sixteenth of an inch clearance on the bottom. That's what I like. But if you like the videos, hit the subscribe button, the bell next to it, you get notified when we do. Leave comments, it helps the channel. Hit thumbs up, that helps the channel. Uh, appreciate it. Like I say, pretty cheap. These boxes, a six frame styrofoam box, these are five are about fifty dollars and if you watch how you cut out a full sheet of, of four by eight sheet of star foam i figured up of course the scrap is just two by four scraps you can find that anywhere you have less than four dollars a box in it that's pretty cheap thanks for watching